Welcome to the Biomaterials Lab. Safety is our first priority, so always wear personal protective equipment on you while you're working in the lab, which includes lab coat, safety glasses, and gloves. For further safety information, please visit safety.rice.edu. Power on the bioprinter by pressing the power button here. Turn the lever position on the air compressor from off to on. The Alivi bioprinter can accommodate three print heads. This translates to being able to print with three different materials at the same time. These are extruders, also known as the print heads. These can heat the materials up to 160 degrees Celsius or cool them down to 4 degrees Celsius. The print head has two LED lights for photo curing. One LED provides 365 nanometer wavelength light and the other provides 405 nanometer wavelength light. The air compressor can provide a pressure up to 120 psi. To transfer the bio ink into a Levy syringe, we will be using a female to female lure lock adapter. Remove the cover of the syringe containing the bio ink and attach the adapter. On the other side of the adapter, we will attach the Alivi syringe. Remove the plunger from the Alivi syringe using a blunt spatula. Remove the rubber seal. Place the rubber seal back into the syringe and push it all the way using the plunger. Now attach this Alivi syringe to the adapter and push the plunger to transfer the bio ink into Alivi syringe. Remove the female to female liver lock adapter on the Alivi syringe and attach the needle of desired size. On the other end of the Alivi syringe, Insert the air compressor line adapter and push firmly. Transfer this assembly into the extruder and turn the air compressor line adapter to lock in the place. Mount the extruder onto the printer. The other end of the air compressor line adapter goes into the printer. To remove the air compressor line adapter, press on the black o-ring and pull the line. Go to bioprint.lev3d.com and log in with your credentials. Connect to the LEV3 printer that is online. This is the interface to communicate with the printer. We have different sections with various settings. The first section is the printer status followed by print file, bill plate, extruders, cross-linking, print bed, and advanced. G-code commands can be entered in the advanced section and please do not use this unless you are an expert in G-code. Under current print section, we can upload .stl file or a g-code file of the model to be 3D printed. Click on the attachment icon to upload desired file by browsing to your computer. Or you can choose a default model under Alivi files. In this demo, we will be 3D printing a 10mm cube. Here we can choose the extruder for printing the selected model from the drop-down menu. As we have only one extruder installed, it is selected by default. If we had multiple extruders installed, we can choose a specific extruder for a specific model. Under the extruder section, we can calibrate the tip of the needle and print speed can be changed as needed. Next is the infill settings. 
choose the type of the infill from the drop down here i'm choosing grid infill infill distance is the distance between the extruded fibers i will set it to three millimeters you can change the infill direction by adjusting the angle next is the bill plate we can choose from a glass lined to 384 well plate here i'll choose a petri dish it doesn't matter if you are not using the same manufacturer as shown here under the extruded section we can calibrate the tip of the needle and optimize the extrusion pressures the needle tip can be calibrated automatically or manually if you are working with only one extruder auto calibration is recommended to start auto calibration process click on auto calibrate number one the auto calibration please make sure there is no print surface on the print bed If you prefer to choose manual calibration or when working with multiple extruders, the calibration steps are as follows. Click on this icon to expand the controls to move the extruder along X, Y and Z axis. Remember, the extruder moves along X and Y axis while the print bed moves along Z axis. Choose appropriate step size and move the extruder. Before performing manual calibration, place the desired build surface onto the platform. Using appropriate step sizes, move the extruder. To ensure that the needle is properly calibrated, Closely observe the reflection of the needle on the bill surface. The needle and its reflection must be touching each other. After properly calibrating, click on set calibration. Repeat the process if you're working with multiple extruders. Select the extruder and move along X, Y and Z axis. If your biome needs to be heated or cooled down, select the extruder, click on the temperature active Set the desired value between 4 degrees Celsius and 160 degrees Celsius. After calibration, to optimize extrusion pressure, move the extruder position to up. And enter the pressure value in the set box. Click the green icon to set the pressure. And once the set pressure is same as the current value, we can extrude the ink by pressing the extrude icon. To extrude the fiber continuously, press and hold the extrude button. So change the pressure value. Press and hold the button until a uniform fiber is extruded. Next step is crosslinking. If your ink needs photo crosslinking, choose the method that suits your need. Choose from crosslinking during the print or after the print. Choose from visible light or UV light. The intensity, duration and frequency can be adjusted as needed. Next section is the print bed. The print bed can be heated from room temperature up to 60 degrees Celsius. Toggle the bed temperature to active. Enter the desired temperature under set and click the green icon. After optimizing and updating all the parameters, click on the print to start the printing process. After completing the printing process, go to the extruder section on the LEV Bioprint website and move the extruder to up position. Now remove the bill plate
Remove the air compressor line by pressing the black o-ring and pull the line. Remove the extruder from the printer and remove the syringe assembly from the extruder. Turn the knob on the air compressor counterclockwise to release the pressure. Once the pressure gates reach zero, turn the lever position from on to off. Once the pressure gauge reaches zero, pull the release valve. Be cautious as you will hear a loud hiss noise. Once the pressure on this gauge reaches zero, open the valve here to remove any condensed air in the tank. Please perform this routine every time to prevent water accumulation in the tank. Condensed water in the tank can cause corrosion and lead to failure of the air compressor. Turn the valve to close position. Press the power button on the printer to shut down. Click on your name on the top right corner and click on sign out to log out of the application. For further questions, please contact the biomaterials lab manager.